All right, should be starting up right now. Happy Saturday, guys. Uh, hope you guys had a great night last night. I know a lot of you did really well. Um, you know, not going to talk about last night too much, but, you know, guys like Harry Giles, um, some of the value plays we went over did, did really, really well. Surprising that, like, a guy like Trey Young was one of my big letdowns in my lineup. I mean, he was, again, like 90% owned in some of the higher dollar stuff. You know, a guy like De'Aaron Fox is a little disappointing, but did hit on Vooch. He was, like, the spend up you really wanted. Um, and then again, some value guys like, like Giles was, uh, were, were kind of key in winning the big money last night, but, um, let, give me one second. Let me tweet out that we're live and then we'll jump into it. So let me just go to my live stream, live stream link. Um, all right. So let's see. Quality looks pretty good there. Not, not really blurry. Sorry about the video yesterday. I know it was a little bit blurry in the background. Sometimes it's been happening with my green screen, trying to get a a hang of that but all right so let's talk about preseason nba so you got to be able to or you got to be on your phone all night until the last game starts and you got to be willing to make changes right there's news that's going to come out on the fly right we, we're getting some of the news already for these early games but there's there's going to be some news in the in the later games that we don't get for a while and um you know, you got to make the decision there. Like, do you want to play players in spots, you know, are kind of guaranteed, right? Or do you want to take a risk with some of the later games and hope hope maybe, you know, a lot of guys are out or stuff like that to open up more value. So you got to make a tough decision there. Um, but, yeah, let's see. I will get to questions at the end as well, DK, my man. What's up, guys? Uh, what's up, G? Working hard today, so, so I'm listening hard. Hey, let's get it. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, all right, so let's go over what we know so far. And if you guys, again, don't follow me on Twitter, it's very important because I've been retweeting all this kind of relevant news that we have. Um, so start, or starters for the Thunder. Kind of went over in the video, but they are pretty thin. They are one of the most thin teams tonight. Uh, so they're starting SGA, George Hill, Diallo, Roby, Muscala. All are in play. Obviously, SGA is the guy I feel the most comfortable with because... You know, he's the best. He's their best player. But I think you can look to a guy like Hamadou Diallo, who has flashed, you know, upside uh, in the last couple of years. You know, a young guy like Roby, his second year, we haven't seen him a ton, but I feel like they're going to want to give him a good run. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some plays there for the Thunder, and I think they will be pretty shorthanded, kind of like we saw with the Lakers last night, right? They were had a nine-man rotation. Caruso got injured. Um, so a lot of the guys played like over 30 minutes for the Lakers. Uh, let's see. So news from the Raptors here is they're going to preserve a lot of the older guys. Like, for example, they're not going to play Fred Van Fleet a ton. Uh, they're going to focus on like the eight to 10 spots in the rotation. So I, I, I assume it's going to be a pretty tight rotation, but then like kind of the second unit playing a lot. So who are the guys I'm really focusing on for the Raptors? Well, talked about in the video, but Chris Boucher is one of my favorite plays just because he's such a good point per minute guy. Also, a guy like Terrence Davis. I like that he's coming off the bench too. So those two, I really, really do like. Um, let's see. Yeah, he said he's going to lean, what do you think, second, first and second unit. So I assume it's going to be a pretty tight rotation. But they said like the main guys and the, vet, and the veterans aren't going to play a ton. So that's why I'm, I'm pretty high on guys like Boucher, a guy like Terrence Davis. We got the Cavs starters. We don't really have news on minutes for them. So that makes it a little bit tricky. Uh, but yeah, we got the starters for, for, for the Cavs. We got the Pacers starters as well. Uh, kind of what we expected. Uh, Aaron Holiday is starting in place of TJ Warren. And look, I kind of talked about the video, but the Pacers are a team that they want to play fast. News for the Hornets. So we did get news that no one's going to play more than 20 minutes. So as of right now, I have no interest in the Hornets, guys. Sure. Can, can players get there in 20 minutes? Yes. But uh, I, I'm just going to look elsewhere. Don't have news on Popovich. No real surprise there, right? Can't wait to get popped again. But uh, no, Lonnie Walker, he will play tonight. That is some news. Uh, again, we went over the Hornets starters. Nuggets, this is not confirmed, but they have um, probable starters as Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, MPJ, Millsap, and Jokic. We'll see uh, there. And then, yes, yeah, Suns, no, no Chris Paul, no Saric. Their starters, uh, or possible starters, campaign Booker, Aiton, Cam Johnson, Mikel Bridges. We'll keep an eye on that. That's the late game. Uh, Pacers news, Sampson, I don't think he's going to play. Doubtful, Goga, uh, and then Lamb, Warren, Bowen, and Bream are all out. We got news of no Lowry. Um, again, the main guys for Toronto don't expect to play a ton. Cavs pieces are out tonight. Colin Saxon, Kevin Porter Jr., Javel McGee, Charles Matthews, and Will Barton will not be playing tonight as well. So, 
Um, yeah, and if you're looking for today's Harry Giles, right, I think a guy like Chris Boucher or a guy like Bobby Porter, so those are guys that just are so aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be super, super popular, but definitely like them for value. Uh, and I think that's basically it. Yep, that's it for uh, what we have so far. So I'm going to be keep or I'm going to keep checking Twitter. I know it's you know kind of hectic, but it's all about news. So I'll try to keep an eye on chat. I'll try to keep an eye on Twitter, and we'll give kind of my breakdown here. Uh, I'm just trying to see if we get if we miss anything in that like five minute span. Um, doesn't look like we've missed anything. Yeah, if I do miss something, guys, uh, make sure you know put in the comment section or hit me up on Twitter. I'll, I'll do my best to keep keep an eye on everything. But all right, let's get into the team by team breakdown. Before we do though, I'll, I'll ask if you guys enjoy the content to smash that like button. It does help me out a ton. Let's try to let's try to hit 150 likes on this live stream. Why not? Um, and uh, if you guys uh, want to sign up for Prize Picks, they are sponsoring the show. You can use the code DKDFS. That's DKDFS, all one word. 100% match up to $100. Uh, this is a site where you're betting on player props. Right? It's a little bit different than than uh, DraftKings. You're not playing against anyone. You're playing against the house. Uh, so if you want to use the code DKDFS, you can get 100% match up to $100. Just taking a look at some of these, right? They have a lot of the main guys on here. Um, let's see. Miles Turner at 21. I, I think that might be a little bit high. Again, we don't have confirmation of what the starters are going to get. But when Miles Turner plays alongside Sabonis, he doesn't have a ton of upside. So I think, you know, as of right now, probably the under on Turner. I think they all like the under under Rosen as well, 212 just because Popovich last year didn't play the veterans a ton in the first game. So yeah, DKDFS, if you want to sign up, link in the description below. Let's start with Toronto. So kind of mentioned it with Toronto, right? Uh, veterans are, are going to start, but aren't going to play a ton, and they're going to run a pretty tight rotation. So that makes me like the backups a lot. So I'm not super interested in Siakam or Van Fleet. Um, Powell's okay. He'll be in the starting lineup. Uh, Aaron Bain starting as well. But the, really the guys I'm looking to are Chris Boucher. 4-7. Uh, he's going to come out the bench. I like that he comes out the bench here. He'll be playing uh, along lower usage, alongside lower usage guys, or he's not going to be playing a ton with like Van Fleet or Siakam. And he's just a guy, again, that when given minutes, he can absolutely crush. We've seen some huge games from him last year. Uh, so love Chris Boucher there four seven. He is one of my favorite plays. Also really like Terrence Davis at 4-5. I don't think a ton of people get to him. But another, another player that can put the ball in the bucket, he's not afraid to shoot it, right? He's very, very aggressive on the offensive end. These are the guys we want to target. So Terrence Davis, Chris Boucher for value, two of my favorite plays uh, if you need some cheap guys. Would I play anyone else here for Toronto? Like, you can maybe look to a guy like Alex Len, but really, that's where my interest lies. It's Davis, it's Boucher. Uh, so let's move on to Charlotte. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep an eye on this. Thoughts on Len DK? Eh. Again, Len, I would rather just play Boucher and and Terrence Davis. Like, Len is in play. He's a decent point-per-minute guy, but feel a little bit better with those guys I mentioned. Uh, all right, let's talk about Charlotte. So, uh, again, we went over that news that Charlotte, no one is going to play over 20 minutes. Not great. Like, can some of these players get it done in 20? Yes. Again, on the high end for preseason in these first games, we want about 20, 25 to 30 minutes is ideal. So, 20 minutes at best is not positive news. So I'm not super interested really in any of these guys. Like Graham and Rogier are seen priced about right. Gordon Hayward, sure, he'll be a higher usage guy this year. But again, he's he was been he's been dealing with injuries. Um like the rookie LaMelo Ball would probably be the guy that I would take a shot on if it wasn't gonna play anyone at 5.1k, just because the price point and the fact that I think he could play the most out of any of these guys, but yeah, it's just I'm kind of staying away from Charlotte. Like PJ Washington at 4-4, that price is cheap. Is he still in play? Yes. Uh, but really, there's no one that stands out for me for Charlotte. So, uh, all right, I'll right. Let's refresh this. Again, if, if I do miss news, let me know. I'm trying to do my best to keep it updated. Uh, Pacers, Goga out, Warren. Okay, we kind of expected that. Uh, we don't really have news on the Pacers or the Cavs on projected minutes. So... That'll kind of be a guessing game, right, with how, how many minutes I expect from them. Uh, normally, again, a fair guess for starters in the preseason is like 20 to 25 minutes. So let's start with the pacer side. Um, well, I got my Sabona shirt on. You guys know I love, love playing this guy because... Uh, he just, he is there. He, the offense runs through him when he's out there. Now, sure. Oladipo is now healthy. Will that affect the usage a bit? Maybe a little. Um, now at seven, eight though, like that's not super cheap. So 
like I would have wished his Sabonis was a little bit cheaper, but he's still a guy that can go out and crush. He can get a double double easily in like 25 minutes. And the and the uh, the Pacers said they want to play fast as well, so um, Sabonis is still in play here for sure. Um, bull bull Sabonis season. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So Warren's out again. That's a little bit of usage around. Warren had a breakout kind of there in the bubble. Oladipo at 7K, I'll probably pass. Brogdon is the other starter I have interest in just because he stuffs the stat sheet. So it's Brogdon, it's Sabonis for me on the Pacers side. Uh, if they get like 25-ish minutes, they could really have, have a good night here. So, and again, they, they want to push the pace. It's not like the Cavs are good defensively. It's Brogdon, it's Sabonis for me. Not really looking to Turner. Again, he's a lower usage guy playing alongside Sabonis. Aaron Holiday inserted in the starting lineup before. I think you can take a shot there. But again, he will be playing alongside higher usage guys. Um, as far as guys on the bench, would I take a shot on any of these guys? Um, let's see. I think a guy like Edmund Sumner is interesting at 4-1. Another guy that, you know, could, you know, he would probably be the alpha with the second unit. So Sumner would be the guy I would take a shot on if I'm going to play someone super cheap again. We have Goga out. You know, McDermott will shoot the ball a ton when he's out there. They are pretty thin. Like, if you look at their bigs, they don't have a, a ton of healthy guys, right? So it's it's Turner or Sabonis. These three are out, right? Uh, so... Who, who's going to play, like, the big minutes when they're when, when they're playing with the second unit, right? I don't think McDermott's going to play the five. So, you know, maybe a guy like Keelan Martin, I think, looks okay just because, like, who else is going to get minutes here for the Pacers in that front court once Sabonis and Turner are out? So that's really uh, it for the Pacers. Uh, we got a little over 30 minutes in clock, seven games, so I'll try to go quick here. Um, Bull Bull convinced me. Bull Bull's definitely in play. Um Let's talk about the Cavs. So Cavs is only a couple pieces. Really only one, really for me. It's Drummond at 7-9. I think he does look pretty good. If we get about 25 minutes from Drummond, I think he's a guy that can go out there and get you like 35 fancy points. Um, he stuffs the stat sheet, right? He's a guy that can get you a lot of blocks, a lot of steals. And the matchup's good. Like, like Turner's not a good defender. So Drummond is someone to look into there at the top. I'm not super interested in love getting up there in age, been dealing with injuries. So I'd rather just play Drummond if I'm going to pick one of those main guys. As far as Nance goes, I would have played Nance if one or both of Drummond or Love are out. The guards, I'm not super interested. The offense is going to run through the big, so it's Love and Drummond. Um, and again, I prefer Drummond for a little bit more. You can look to Okoro. He's picking up a start. Um, the rookie at 4-5. I think that's that's in play for sure. Uh, a lot of these rookies, though, it's a little bit tougher because we haven't seen a ton other than like practice videos. Like Normally, I have a good idea of who's going to play really well for the rookies watching summer league watching like pre or like other pre right preseason games but um yeah we're kind of going we're not going off a lot here so Okoro yeah in play uh, at 4.5k uh, and that's really that's really it for me for for the Cavs so let's move on to OKC uh let's see Elise Johnson for the Pacers is he on the team still I don't even see him in the uh in the player pool right he's not in the player pool um, unless they, he's he's available, but it's not not there. So let's talk about OKC again. OKC is going to be pretty thin. Um, Paulie B with a five dollar super chat. DK Rock and Michigan Love appreciate that, Paulie. Thank you so much for, for continuing to, to support the channel. Um, it is greatly greatly appreciated. I like Garland tonight. Yeah, you can play Garland. I, I think he's an okay value option. Uh, Samson's available. Oh, Samson is available. Did I miss that? Did I read that wrong? Um, okay, so Samson is available. I might have. He was questionable. Uh, yeah, is available. Okay, I did read that wrong. Good call. So yeah, Samson's a guy that will probably play some of the backup five uh, for the Pacers there. My bad, I'm missing that. Um, yeah, keep keep me honest, guys. If I missed something, at least Johnson was released. Again, that's kind of what I thought. Um, all right, OKC. Yeah, so they're going to be pretty thin. This is kind of situation, I think, for the Lakers last night, right? Uh, Lakers ran a nine-man rotation. So a lot of guys out here for OKC. SGA is my favorite play, I think, on the slate at 5-9. Um, if we get like 25 minutes, I think he's, he could absolutely crush just because who else is going to shoot the ball for this team? So SGA, like Hamidou Diallo at 4 or 5 is also definitely in play here just because small forward is pretty weak today. Uh, and Diallo's a guy I expect pretty decent minutes from. Again, a younger guy. Don't expect him to really be limited. Both him, SGA are young. So I don't expect them to be, play like 15 minutes and that's it. So SGA, Hamidou Diallo are two guys I like a good amount. I think George Hill viable as well. The reason I'm not as high on a guy like George Hill is because a veteran, right? I don't, he's a guy I could see getting limited a bit. Um, let's see. Where is Isaiah Roby? So they have him listed out, but he is available. So that is probably going to make the ownership super, super low on him. It's his second year. He didn't play a ton last year. Uh, rookie from, I believe it was Nebraska. 
Um, so, yeah, we haven't seen a ton from him, but at 4K, at min price, I expect good minutes from him. I don't think, like, a lot of people will look to him. So, Roby is definitely someone I'm looking to as well for value in OKC. And, again, don't feel like you have to use all your money for preseason. You can leave a good amount of salary on the table, right? The highest score last night was Harry Giles at, like, basically min price. So, yeah, those are the three starters I think I like the best. A couple guys on the bench I do want to mention. Frank Jackson, right? We've seen some big games from him uh, when he was on the Pelicans, right? Him, NAW, when they would rest a lot of guys. He is a really good point-per-minute guy. So I like Frank Jackson as well for value, a good amount. He's the guy off the bench I feel the best about. And that's probably it for me. So, yeah, it's it's SGA, it's uh, Hamadou Diallo, and it's Isaiah Roby for the starters. I like a good amount. Again, I expect a pretty tight rotation. And then if you want to target someone off the bench, I do like Frank Jackson a lot there at min price. Let's see. Sun starters possibly limited 18 minutes. Is that what they said? Um, let's see. Let me let me refresh news again. We still have 30 minutes until lock, so we still have time. I want to see if I missed anything. Starting lineup for – okay, starting lineup for Minnesota. Russell – Beasley, Okoji, Layman, Cat Sanders doesn't read too much into it. A lot saying things. Okay, Wancho has a chance to start. We don't really have a ton of minutes here or a ton of info on minutes. Um, let's see if we got anything else from this Minnesota beat writer. Not a lot on, on projected minutes, but um, yeah, we'll talk about Minnesota in a sec. So hopefully we get some sort of clarity. Again, guys, we're not going to get clarity on all these teams for minutes. So. There's variance involved, right? There's there's a guessing game, right? If you played some of the Knicks guys last night, you got a bit lucky because they came back in one of the few teams where they play the starters basically the entire game. And, you know, all I can do is, is try to do my best to, to look into minutes and kind of project. But, yeah, we don't really know what the minutes are going to be there for Minnesota. Let's talk about the Spurs. Um, let's see. It was an article earlier this week. Check, check Twitter DMs. Sun starters possibly limited to 18 minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, Sorry, I have a, let's see. You might just send that to me again or just link it to me on Twitter. Um, guys, we are almost at 400 viewers. If you enjoy that content, hit that like button. Uh, again, let's try to aim for 150 if we can. I don't know if we can get there, but Spurs. All right, so if we look at the first piece in the game last year, the veterans barely played. Um, Aldridge, DeRozan, I'm not super interested in them at their respective prices. Keldon Johnson out, Derek White out, Lonnie Walker is playing. So the two guys I would look to here for the Spurs would be DeJounte Murray and Lonnie Walker. Both younger guys, and um, I expect these guys could, could get extended a bit. Now, I'm always a little bit weary targeting Spurs guys just because it's Greg Popovich. And he, he just, he'll do weird things all the time. So proceed with, proceed with caution. But those are two guys I think look pretty good. Like, sure, Jakob Pertl's a good point per minute guy, but how many minutes do we expect from him? Guys off the bench that I think are in play, you know, Trey Jones, the rookie, probably gets decent minutes at 4.4K, a viable cheap play. You know, a guy like Luka Samancic, I could see getting an okay run. So, yeah, there's there's some potential plays here for the Spurs. Uh, so, yeah, really focus on the young guys, though. But, yeah, Jones, Samancic off the bench if you want to take a shot there. And then I think it's Jonte Murray. I think it's Lonnie Walker would be you guys. I would have some interest there for the Spurs uh, starters. Let's see, Paris. <laughs> uh, can we play Doncic and Giannis in the same lineup? Yes, of course you can. If we get like 25 minutes from both those guys, like you're going to want both. We don't have confirmation yet. Uh, so, yes, you can definitely play both. There's there's a ton, a ton of value here on the slate. Uh, let's talk about Milwaukee. So, or let's talk about Dallas. I uh, don't want to skip Dallas. Dallas. Porzingis, we know, is out. So if Luka plays and he gets like 20, mid-20s minutes, I think he's one of the top spend-ups of the slate. Probably the top spend-up just because, uh, you know, he is going to be such a high-usage player. We've seen some enormous games from Luka with Porzingis out. So, yeah, if Luka plays decent minutes here, he's one of my favorite spend-ups. Other options in Dallas. Well, Hardaway Jr., we know when he's out there, he's going to shoot the ball a ton, but does have a pretty low floor. Not super interested in Josh Richardson. Uh, Biggs, you know, Boban, we know is a great point-per-minute guy, but he only saw nine minutes in the first preseason game last year, so don't expect a ton from him. Still in play, like if we get 10 to 15 minutes from Boban, he can put up 20 fancy points. So, yeah, in consideration, 
you know, they do have, they're a little bit healthier besides Porzingis still in the front court with the guys like Powell's back, you know, a guy like Willie Cauley Stein. Um, they have Maxi Kleber. So they're a little bit more healthy now. Um, so da- Dallas has a team right now is, we'll see, right? If we get news that starters are going to get a good run, it's probably only Luka for me. If they end up resting some guys, if Luka ends up resting, then there's potential here, right? If if they rest a good amount of the main guys, then we could look to, you know, probably a guy like Jalen Brunson. He had he's had some big games with Luca's been out, so that's kind of what I think at the moment here for uh, Dallas. Milwaukee, same thing. We don't have news yet, so Giannis, if he gets mid twenties minutes, I think could absolutely crush. We'll just have to take a wait and see approach. Last year in the first season of the game, the Bucks, the main guys did not play, so we'll see. Uh, with Drew and Middleton, I would rather just pay up for Giannis. Um, and I don't really expect Giannis to sit and Drew and Middleton to play. So, yeah, Drew and Middleton, I'm not super, super excited there. Uh, not really looking to Brooke Lopez either. Now, if they end up do wrestling some guys and DiVincenzo plays and Connaughton plays, like these are two guys, like if they rest like the top four guys, you can look to DiVincenzo. You can look to Connaughton, who would probably, uh, you know, demand a lot of usage in the offense. Also, mention him in the video. But right now, Bobby Portis, free Bobby Portis is... Uh, a guy I really like just because, you know, the Bucks are a little bit thin up front. They have Brooke Lopez, they have Giannis, but behind that, not a ton of depth. They have DJ Wilson, uh, but Bobby Portis is a great point for a guy. So um, I do like him. If we can get like 20 minutes from Bobby Portis, again, he could be your Harry Giles. It's kind of him, Boucher, as the bigs I like the best for cheap right now. Um, Bucks name starters, did they? Okay, let's see. Uh, let me refresh this. Uh, still over 20 minutes, so again, try to get through this all and then get to questions as well. Um, Bucks, uh, Coach Budenholzer will start Drew, Dante DiVincenzo in the backcourt to go with Middleton, Yaz, and Brooke Lopez. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and retweet that. Let's see if we got if we miss anything else here. Again, we got the news there for... for uh, I should probably retweet that for the um, the Timberwolves starters. Let's see if if the beat writer gave any kind of indication on minutes. Let's see. Uh, any idea on minutes? Nope. So, eh. The thing with the Bucks is just it's Bootenholzer. So, he, he already, like, is pretty cautious with guys in the regular season. So, yeah, that does worry me a little bit um, just because I could see, like, them only playing the first half. Um, so, all right. We got the news at least that they're going to start. Let's go back to the Bucks. So really, that said, again, I talked about Frank Mason. He's not on the team, so don't play Frank Mason. Um, that's kind of where my interest lies. Let's move on to Memphis and Minnesota. Uh, we know Triple J's out. Brandon Clark, I believe, is out as well or doubtful. Uh, I don't think we have the starters yet here, but John Morant, Jonas Valanciunas, Morant eight five feels a little bit pricey. I know he had a great, great. Um, you know, he was great in the bubble, but I would personally, like, if we all get 25 minutes from these main guys, I'd just rather go to Giannis, rather go to Luca, rather go to Steph. Uh, now, that's not saying Jaw's out of play, right? If we get news that they're going to limit some of those main guys, then yeah, Jaw is viable. JV as well, I think goes a little bit under the radar. He's a great point per minute guy. They're missing a couple of their main bigs. So, do have some interest in the Memphis uh, spend ups with Morant and Jonas Valanciunas. Not super interested in Dylan Brooks and kind of a score independent uh, player. Cheaper guys, I think you can look to. You know, they have the rookie Xavier Tillman. I think he would get some decent run. You know, a guy like, let's see, where is where is DeAnthony Melton? DeAnthony Melton, they have him listed as questionable. Questionable, if he does play, he's a guy that, you know, can put up some, some big games in limited time. So, yeah, that's really it for Memphis. Uh, let's talk about Minnesota. So, yeah, Minnesota, we have the starters. We don't have news on minutes there. So, again, my, my best guess is probably mid-20s minutes. And Towns at 8-9 I think does look like a pretty solid play. Younger guy, um, he was dealing with a wrist injury, so not super concerned about them limiting him. Um, and another guy that is, again, a great point-per-minute guy. It's a good matchup, too. Like, Cat versus Jonas Valanciunas, both are not good defenders. So, you could go either way in this one. I feel a little bit more comfortable with Cat. I think the offense kind of runs through him. He's a guy who can step out, obviously, and shoot the three. So I do like Cat a good amount there at 8.9K. Russell's still in play at 8K, but I would prefer – I like the floor a little bit higher. or I think the floor is higher with Cat than it is with D'Lo. 
Um, Rubio, 5'7", not super interested there. No, Anthony Edwards at a pretty weak small forward position. Yeah, definitely intrigues me, right? Small forward, there's not a ton of great plays. He's the number one overall pick, so they're going to want to see what they have with him. I, I, My best guess, around 25-ish minutes. So I'm definitely considering Anthony Edwards there for value. Uh, and again, small forward is pretty, pretty thin. Other options here for Minnesota, if you're taking a shot on someone, you know, super, super cheap. Eh, there's not a ton, to be honest. Like RHJ's flash, you know, is a decent point for a guy. Ed Davis um, is expected to be available, but, you know, they're, they're not super, super young. So, I mean, maybe is, McLaugh- is McLaughlin still on the team? He was a summer league uh, all-star. I don't know if you guys remember that. Followed me in the summer league. But, yeah, that's that's kind of it there for Minnesota. Um, DK is Curry in play. We don't have news right now on minutes for, for Golden State. So, yes, Curry is 100% in play. Um, dependent on news. If we get news that he's willing to play the first half, not so much. If we get, like, decent minutes from him, then yes. Just because they're so, so thin. Uh, or, you know, no Draymond, no Steph Curry. Steph's going to shoot the ball a ton when he's out there. Denver. Uh, we got, you know, probable starters is the main guys there with Jokic, MPJ, Murray, Millsap, and I believe it was Gary Harris. In the first preseason game last year, the starters didn't play a ton. It was around 20. So as of right now, not a ton of interest, but we'll see, right? Jamal Murray at 5'6", though, that is, that's underpriced for him. Saw him have a breakout, uh, you know, in the bubble. Really, really turned it on. Now, again, we're not going to get 45 minutes from him. But if we can get, like, 25-ish minutes, yeah, Jamal Murray can have a really nice day there for his price. Uh, other than that, for, for the starters, not a ton. Again, we'll see if if we get news that they're going to be uh, – if they're going to get decent run, then, yeah, more interesting guys like Gilgich, guys like Jamal Murray. MPJ feels a little bit pricey there at 6'7". A couple guys I do want to mention here, though, off the bench. P.J. Dozier, like him a good amount. Uh, I don't know if a ton of people get to him, but another really, really good, good point per minute guy and would kind of be the alpha there in like the second unit, second, second, third unit, right? So Dozier, I do like a good amount. He's a lengthy guy. He can do it all, fill up a stat sheet. I have interest in Dozier. Also, oh yeah, bull, bull, 100% in play here. They signed him to another contract or what, two-way contract. Yeah, he's a good point per minute guy. Nine minutes, 16 fancy points. 15 minutes, 21 fancy points, 25 minutes, 20 fancy Like, he is a good, good point per minute guy. Can get you some blocks, some steals. He can even shoot threes. And small forward, right? That's key. Small forward is really, really weak. So I like Bull Bull. I like Anthony Edwards. I like Hamadou Diallo. Those are kind of the guys I'm looking to for small forward. Um, yeah, and if we can get, if we get close to like 15 to 20 minutes from Bull Bull, he can absolutely crush. So, Definitely looking to bowl bowl there. Uh, again, kind of dependent on news. We'll see. But Kerr said he will play about 20 minutes. Okay, so Kerr Cap and Steph getting 25 minutes for show. We'll see. I mean, Steph played. It was about 20 minutes last year. Yeah, the description uh, for Steph on DK says he'll play in the 20s. Is that what it says? Um, let's go to Golden State. Let's see what it says. Steph Curry. Kerr said minutes in the 20 range for Saturday's preseason open. In the 20 range. So, what does that mean? I would say low 20s minutes. That That's probably a good guess. And at 8-2, with no Draymond, no Clay Thompson, yes, for sure in play. Maybe goes a little bit lower owned compared to Giannis, compared to Luka. We'll see. Again, still dependent on news, like I keep saying. But Steph Curry, like his upside, he's going to shoot the ball a ton. Uh, and if we get, again, 25, close to 25 minutes, he could crush. Not super interested in Wiggins. Um, Draymond Green again out. Ubre I think is okay in the mid range. Chris as well, good point per minute guy. Not overly excited about it though. The value plays I want to mention: Kavon Looney looking like he might start, but he was banged up uh, last couple years. So I don't know if he plays a ton. Mm, yeah, that's probably it for me. Yeah, so really it's kind of stuff, and that's it. Like a couple viable plays, but nothing I'm like overly excited about. Last game here. Um, Courier Drummond and Utility, thanks. Tough one, um, because we don't know what the Mets going to be like for for Cleveland. So, yeah, right now it's basically coin flip. Phoenix, uh, again, potentially we got the news right that they might play under twenty minutes. No Chris Paul, no Sarich. Like Booker's at eight six. I think I like the the other spin ups a little bit more. Aiton at six six feels a little bit better. Um, 
cheaper guys campaign you know is a guy that that kind of turned it on off the bench i could see him getting some decent run there 4.4k even javon carter 4.3 like those two for like the value options with Payne and carter i think look okay i did mention diallo i don't think he's on the, the roster anymore so don't play diallo and you know oh i do want to mention jalen smith their rookie right he's 4k he was selected with the 10th overall pick so I expect them to, him to get decent run. I don't think a ton of people play him, but Jalen Smith is definitely someone I'm looking to for value as well. All right, lastly, Utah. Utah, going off the first preseason game last year, the starters did not play a ton. So I'm not really interested in, in any of these Utah guys at the moment. Um, I don't expect a ton of minutes for the main guys. Uh, favors, I don't expect him to play a ton. Neither was Royce O'Neal. Cheaper guys, like I could see getting extended a bit, like maybe Moutier, Gorge, Gorgeous Niang. But yeah, there, there's not a... T- oh, Azabuki, he would probably be my preferred target here for the Jazz. He's min price. They took him with a 27th overall pick. I expect him to get good runs. So again, always kind of lean towards rookies and young guys. They get extended a little bit more here in the early games. So Azabuki would be the guy I would look to if I'm going to play someone on Utah. But that's really it. So... 15 minutes until lock. Let me refresh. Let me make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, and then we can get to some questions here. Thank you guys for targeting for, for tagging me and stuff. I do appreciate that. Um, let's see. Okay. Nothing, nothing confirmed on Bucks minutes, nothing confirmed on, on Timberwolves minutes. We really don't have a lot confirmed on a lot of these teams for minutes. So, yes, there's going to be a variance involved. Like, unfortunately, there's probably going to be a team or two that only play the starters at half. Uh, and that's, you know, again, that's the variance in, in preseason DFS. Um, let me see. All right. So, uh, anything else here? Do, 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 do. Let me take a sip of water. That's that's the uh, the Grizzly starters with Morant, Morant, Grayson Allen, Dylan Brooks, uh, Kyle Allen, and Jonas Valanciunas. Has so Morant and JV look okay, but um, all right, I think that that's we're kind of caught up. So yeah, if I miss anything, let me know, guys. Um, but let's get to some questions here. Lamelo is out. Is he out? I did not see that. Um, Doncic and Giannis is a lock. Not a lock. We don't know how many minutes they're gonna play. So. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, almost 400 concurrent viewers, guys. We're at 125 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Core plays. So, yes, I can give you guys core plays. Let me see. Again, this is it's hard to be it's hard to give core plays at the moment because there's a lot of stuff still up in the air. But you know, for value, I'll give you guys a couple value plays. Right, I'm pretty high on the Toronto guys, so I like getting to one or even both of Boucher and Terrence Davis. I'll give the edge to Boucher just because I think the upside might be a little bit higher on him. So we'll go Boucher. Um, OKC, right? They're pretty thin. They're really thin. So it could be like a nine man, nine, 10 man rotation. That's good. SGA, who else is going to shoot the ball for them? Give me some SGA action. Um, also again, there's other options here on, I think, you know, probably trying to get maybe two thunder in your lineup is not a bad idea. So guys, we went over, right. Hamadou Diallo, uh, Roby, Frank Jackson. I like as a sneaky play. Let's just throw Hamadou Diallo in there because small forward is really weak or shooting, whatever, you know? So there's three of the four and that's value, right? That's, we have seven K remaining as far as the spend ups go, you know, Let's, let's just go over to the spend-ups, right? So we have Giannis, Towns, Jokic, Luka, Steph. I think the three guys, if if we knew that everyone was going to play 25 minutes, and if, if that was the news that everyone's going to play 25 minutes, the guys I like the most, Giannis, Towns, Luka, Steph. So you can throw Drummond in there too. Um, so again, you're going to have to make some tough calls. And again, there's going to be luck involved, right? Some starters are going to be limited more than uh, than others, and we don't necessarily have that news. So, of these four guys at the moment, at the moment, I'm gonna go Luca, assuming he gets good run, right? Just because Porzingis is out, 
So there you go. That's a core to work with. I feel pretty good about it. Again, things can change. So you got to be willing to, to, to change things. Keep an eye on news. Again, I'll do my best to keep, to keep you guys on top of it here on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, that's what we'll go with. Uh, again, two Thunder, just because they're so thin with SGA and Diallo. We mentioned a couple other plays you can go with. You don't have to play those two. Luca at the moment, my favorite spend up. And then, again, Boucher, a guy like Bobby Portis. I think those two can be, um, you know, kind of a Harry Giles-esque uh, for tonight. SGA is a lock, and Boucher have them in all four lineups. Hey, I like that. Diallo or Bull Bull? That, that's a tricky one, right? Because I'm going to go Diallo for now. Because I think he plays more minutes. Now, if we get news that Denver is resting like all their stars, you're probably going to want to go bull bull. Bull bull over Diallo? Yeah, you can definitely go bull bull over Diallo. I have no issue with that. No issue at all. It's just how many minutes do we get from bull bull is more in question. Jamal Murray, uh, two scoring dependent for preseason, in my opinion. He is a little bit scoring dependent for a guard. He is. But it's just the price point thing. DK plus NBA is such a walking bucket. I always love the NBA season on this channel. Hey, appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh, who Jackson, Frank Jackson, um, for the Thunder. Is TJ Leaf in play? Not necess- I'm not super uh, excited there. Cavs are thin at point guard. Yes, they are, but the offense runs through the bigs. And when Drummond and Love are not out there, you know, offense kind of runs through Nance. So I'm not really interested in the Cavs guards. Have a line that has ABC, Towns, and Luka. You can definitely do that. Jamal Murray seems cheap. think he gets 18 minutes. We don't know. We don't know what the minutes going to be like for the Thunder. We don't have – or for the – Nuggets. We don't have the starting lineup, or we don't have news confirmed. Towns or Boucher, Fanduel price doesn't matter. I, I got to go Towns, um, but yeah, I like both those guys. Again, price doesn't matter. I expect about twenty minutes from Boucher. You know, twenty to twenty-five from Towns. I expect about the same. And yeah, got to give the edge to Towns there, straight up. Do you like Sabonis? I do. He is a little pricey. Again, Oladipo there too. They are going to play fast. So Sabonis, Brogdon are the guys I think look the best for the Pacers. Bull or Portis? Tricky one at the moment. I'll go Portis, uh, but not saying Bull Bull's out of play. Brogdon or Jamal Murray? Again, with nothing confirmed, that's hard to answer. I'll go Brogdon uh, just because he does a little bit more uh, with uh, filling up the stat sheet. As a Pacers fan, TJ Leaf is never in play. Yeah, I'm not super excited about TJ Leaf. Uh, what about Eric Pascal? You can throw him in there with no Draymond. He's a guy that, again, fills up the stat sheet. Yeah, I didn't talk about Pascal. I think he's a fine low-owned play. There's there's guys probably, again, I'm not going to be able to mention everyone. If I didn't mention someone and you like him, play him for sure. Are you playing Sabonis? I'm not, even though I got my Sabonis shirt on. Um, I do like Sabonis a good amount, but um, yeah, I am not playing him. Um, let me refresh Twitter, see if we miss anything. Uh, I'll try to keep an eye on Porter Jr. If Porter Jr. seems, uh, if we're talking about Michael Porter Jr., it feels a little pricey. Warrior starters for tonight's opener, Steph, Kelly Oubre, Wiggins, Pascal, Looney. Okay, we got that news. Let's see if we got any more uh, kind of information on minutes. Um, let's take a look at this Golden State beat writer. And yeah, nothing confirmed. Again, they, they said 20s minutes for, for Steph. So I expect, you know, low, low twenties minutes for, for Steph Curry. Um, anything else here? No, it doesn't look like anything else. Um, DeJounte good play. It, it's, it's the Spurs. So he's okay. I just, it's Greg Popovich. You never know. Uh, kind of did he, in the, in the first recent game last year, Popovich really spread out the minutes. Um, let's see. Favorite plays on Memphis would probably be Morant or, or JV. Jang worth rolling out. I wouldn't play gorgeous Jang. Jonas over Russell. You can do it. Best plays for center. There's a good amount of center plays. Right? With a lot, we talked about a lot of cheapies with guys like Boucher, guys like Bobby Portis. Spend up centers. I like Towns. Drummond. Sabonis is okay. Valen You know, Jokic, I'm a little bit hesitant just because what we saw last season. Um... So those, those guys is the spend-ups. And then, yeah, Boucher, Bobby Portis, you know, a couple of the rookies we talked about, like maybe an Azabuke for Utah. Um, let's see, anyone else here I'm missing? Like Tillman looks okay, right? So there, there are some other options for sure. Um, Jordan Clarkson, not for me. Drummond or Curry DK? I'll go Curry at the moment, but it's close. You playing any Pacers? I'm not. 
um, Drummond or, or Sabonis. Right now, I slightly give the edge to Drummond. And the reason I do is just because the Cavs are more thin than the Pacers. The Pacers, even though they're missing TJ Warren, like they have Oladipo, they have Brogdon. Turner is still an okay player, right? Whereas the Cavs, it's Love, it's Drummond. That's really it. I mean, they have the rookie, right? They have... They, I, I would just give the edge to Drummond because the pieces around him are worse than the pieces around Sabonis. Ja to get 25 minutes or more. We don't know that confirmed. Grizz coach said Morant will play around mid 20s. Okay. Um, can I did not see that news, but that's that's pretty good, right? Mid 20s minutes is what we're looking for. Um, Lamella ball season. I won't repeat best ball, brother. Uh, Tillman greater than pool, just like college. Yeah, yeah. Uh, favorite 4,900 utility. Uh, let's see. 4,900 utility. And don't feel like you have to you have to use all your salary. So in this range, there's not a ton of like. I think Anthony Edwards, again, Hamadou Diallo, Chris Boucher. Those are the guys I would look to in that range. Curry over Ja, stop playing with Steph. Um, yeah, if we get similar minutes, I'm going to give that to Steph all day. Kelly Oubre, playable. I'm not overly excited about it, though. Curry and Brogdon, I'm fine with it. Vassal or Trey Jones, I'll give that to Trey Jones. I got Morant, Luka, and Steph. I think that's fine. John, JV, lock it in. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're missing some pieces, right? With Triple J with Brandon Clark. That's where the offense is going to run. It's Ja, it's JV. Both good point for guys. I'm fine with either of them. Ja, Curry or Sabonis. Curry there, uh, assuming everyone plays the same minutes. Giannis or Luka, Boban or Torrey Craig. Um, Luka at the moment, just because he's missing Porzingis. Again, I'm, I'm guessing everyone plays the same minutes. Things could change. Boban or Torrey Craig. Not really interested in Torrey Craig, so Boban there, just because he can crush in like 10 to 15 minutes. Thanks for all your help, man. Of course, guys. Uh, Diallo, Bull Bull, and Terrence Davis. Yeah, I mean, I like them all for value. Good luck today. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, check out the DFS Whispers. Also produce a lot of content, guys, NBA content. They are very, very good. So check them out if you are interested uh, to get, you know, kind of second opinions or if you just want to consume some more content. Um, they, they put out some really good stuff. You like Flynn. Um... What's his price? All right, can't find. Hold on. Uh, Anthony Edwards or Diallo? Yeah, that's close. That is really close. I'm going to go Diallo just because I feel he could play some more minutes, but close one there. So bonus or JV? Assuming they both get the same minutes, I'll give the edge slightly to JV. Uh, you're the nuts man. Thanks for all the help. Of course. Is, is this okay for the 2200, 220 dollar GPP? Um, Luca, SGA, Diallo, Boucher, Giannis, Murray, Aiton, Portis. Yes. Um, again, a little bit weary of the Suns guys because potentially they might get limited. Again, that's not really confirmed. Everything else I'm fine with. You got a pretty similar lineup to me. So hopefully we'll I'll see you at the top there in that tournament in the... Uh, in the slam. Let me just make sure that my lineup is good. I want to make sure I'm not missing any pieces. Again, get the early guys in the in the top of your lineup, right? Later guys in the utility spots. You have some uh, room to, to make some moves. Smash a like button, guys. Yeah, we're at 140. Can we get 10 more in the next five minutes? I'll stay after lock to go over some ownership. Good luck. Bull, bull over Looney easily. I think I would rather have bull, bull than Looney. Curry over Luca. Stop playing. Um, over Luca. We'll see, yeah, with no Porzingis, that's close. Luca tonight, yes, if he gets his minutes. We don't have confirmation on that yet, so you got to be willing to, to, to make some changes. Don't forget to smash that like video. Uh, yes, hit that like button, guys. Sorry, I'm not going to say it anymore. Curry, SGA, Curry, SGA, Bull, Bull, Boucher, Drummond, Diallo, Portis, Luca thoughts. Um, that is almost identical to what I have, so I like that. Uh, Luca gonna bust. Doubt he plays that much personally. Yeah, if again, we will get that news soon. We're probably gonna get after lock, but if, if they limit Luca, then you just look elsewhere. Don't feel like you have to spend all your salary. Uh, if you're playing in the 222 one, you should probably know if your lineup is solid. FMA stuff. Uh, let's see, got my Kabokolo yesterday, so I'm excited for today. Wouldn't know what I'd be doing without these streams. Oh, hey, appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, Kabokolo was huge at low ownership. I think he put up close to 40. Drew guarding Luca, I'll pass. I'm not really worried about matchups here for the preseason. Or at least, you know, matchup but I got like Luca. He's kind of matchup proof. So thanks for the help, man, of course. News on Warriors minutes, no more than 20. Uh, did we get that news? Let's see. Um, did it maybe just come out? 
you know, I'll, I'll refresh. We'll go over some ownership. It is at lock. So the first three games are locked. We'll, we'll take, take a look at some ownership. And then uh, let's see. Without Air Pascal. Okay. Where do you see that? Unless I'm. Oh, here we go. Warrior starters per Steph. Per. Or per. Per Steph, per Steve Kerr, Curry, Wiggins, Ubre, Pascal, Looney. Sources, everyone is roster will play tonight with a starter scheduled for no more than 20 minutes each. Okay, so that's a trick. That's a tough one because, hey, we saw Boogie Cousins put up, what, 35 in 15 minutes. Steph can still do that in 20 minutes. But you got to make the, you know, do you like 20 minutes out of Steph more than possibly 25 minutes with some other players? So again, that's a tricky one. Thanks, Danny Poy. Appreciate it. Of course, Cam. Ownership time. Yeah, let's go over some ownership. Terrence Davis, SJ Bull, Boucher, Cat, Luca, Portis, Ja. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, we'll go over some ownership. Let's take a look at the slam ownership. So uh, we can go over what I have. SGA, 81% owned. Terrence Davis, 3% owned. I'll take it. Hamadou Diallo, 32%. Boucher, 37%. Drummond at 31% ownership. Let's see some other ownership here. Isaiah Roby, 2%. Um, let's see. I'm just going over some other uh, people's lineups. LaMelo Ball at 16%. Yeah, he would be the one uh, Hornet I would play. Sabonis coming in at 31%. I'm fine with that. You guys know I love Sabonis. Um, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Gordon Hayward, 8%. I'm okay getting away from that. Brogdon at 10 Siakam at 10, I'm okay getting away from that based off what we know, right, with them saying they're going to limit the main guys. So, yeah, I'm okay getting away from 10% 10 10 Siakam. 17% Garland, I'm also okay getting away with. Uh, The offense is going to run more through those bigs. Van Fleet at 8%, I'll pass there. Again, we kind of went over that news that no one on the Toronto or none of the main guys are going to play a ton. So, yeah, I think there's some edge here, at least in the slam for me. I have 3% Terrence Davis. I have a somewhat lower-owned Boucher. Okoro coming in at 12%, the rookie there for Cleveland. That's okay. Uh, let's see. DeJounte Murray at 3% owned. It's it's Popovich, so there's there's risk involved there. P.J. Washington, 6%. Nothing super, super surprising. Uh, Flynn for the Raptors at 20% owned. Um, why was he – why could I not find him? Um, so people went Malachi Flynn – I kind of like Terrence Davis a little bit more. We'll see. That's I guess that's where where my edge is with Davis over a guy like Malachi Flynn. SGA sixty two percent, not crazy. Would you pivot off Curry after that news? It, it's tough. Again, it's a it's a really tough call. Um, depends. If we get news that Buck starters twenty five minutes, Timberwolves starters twenty five minutes, then yeah, maybe look to to the Giannis. Maybe look to Cat. So. We don't have a lot confirmed. Wasn't it announced Lamelo isn't playing? No, I think he's playing, but he's just coming off the bench. Russell or Curry, and nothing confirmed there with Minnesota, so hard to say. At the moment, I'll go Curry. Frank Jackson, only 8% in my single entry. Again, I like that, right? He's a really, really good point-per-minute guy coming off the bench. Uh, Len, less than 1%. Big GPPs, love it. Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, a way to get different. Glad I didn't pick Garland. Yeah, I'm okay getting away from that ownership. We'll see how it goes, but... Uh, George Hill, 3% owned. Muscala, 12%. How much? How many minutes will Muscala play? I don't know. I mean, he's a decent point for a guy. OG coming in at 9%. So, yeah, that's that's kind of what I got. Leaf, 12%. I'm, okay, I'm fine getting away. So, so, so there's some bits and pieces with, uh, you know, the thunder of some of those value guys we mentioned that are, are decently owned. Morant or Curry, I know it's pretty much a toss-up. Yeah, I'll, I'll go Curry slightly, but that, that's close. What are you doing with Curry? At the moment, again, I have him in, but I'll, I'll be messing with it. I'll, I'm going to keep an eye on news. I got to keep an eye on news in the other games, right? So the studs in the other games I'm looking to, obviously, with, like, pivots you can make. You know, a guy like Luka, a guy like Giannis, a guy like Cat, all at a similar price. What was Garland? I think he was, like, 20% owned, 16 15 20% owned. Beasley or Cam Johnson, not super interested in either. I'd rather probably play cam i guess mike malone says his starting group will play uh around 24 minutes did we get that news let's see 24 minutes is pretty good so yeah that makes a guy like Jokic more viable that makes a guy like jamal murray a lot more viable uh if let's see 
Mike Malone pregame says his starting group will play around 24 minutes. It'll be great. Everybody, okay. So, yeah, 24 minutes, that's kind of what we're aiming for. So now, again, I have more interest in guys like Jamal Murray and a guy like Nikola Jokic. So that's a tough one, right? You're going to have to make the decision. Is, is like 24 minutes out of Jokic better than 20 minutes out of Steph Curry? Is 24 minutes out of Jamal Murray better than 20 minutes out of Steph Curry? Struggling with Bull Bull or Bobby Portis. With the news that the Nuggets starters are going to play 24 minutes, I think that's a little bit less on the table for Bull Bull, so I'll give the edge to Bobby Portis there. Since when can we trust what Mike Malone says? True, we, we can't. Beasley or Cam Johnson? Cam, but I'm not overly excited about either. Going to be fun tonight. Thanks, DK. Let's get it. Yeah, super excited. Uh, anyone get Trey Jones or Vassal percent? I didn't see either of them, at least in the slam. They're probably like a couple percent owned, I would say, in the big tournament. Hate Malone. Everyone have to rethink the lineups. Jokic comes into play with 24 minutes. Yeah, Jokic definitely in play with 24 minutes. Again, Nugget starters do look a lot better here. Um, but let's go, Murray. Hope Aiden plays 25 now. Um, yeah, again, we got to keep an eye on you. So, I'm going to end the stream soon, but make sure to fo- to check out or to follow me on Twitter. I will keep you guys updated. Uh, Terrence Davis, the way better play he's proven. I agree, and I like that he's 3% owned. So that's kind of my edge in the slam. We'll see how it goes. But Davis is a guy that is not afraid to shoot the ball. Yes, I played Diallo over Bull. I'm fine with that. Thanks, man, of course. All right, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to check the live stream. We hit, I think, 400 concurrent viewers, which is crazy. We hit over 150 likes. Insane, insane. I cannot thank you guys again for for the support. Uh, I will have a video up for Sundays. What? I I forget how many games are in that slate, but that'll be up later tonight. NFL, I already have a final look video if you're interested in that. I will be live for NFL as well Sunday morning. So a ton of content coming out for you guys. Again, Sunday, NBA preseason slate or video later tonight. Sunday live stream NFL um, and then NBA live stream later on Sunday as well. I should have put Davis and damn it. Yeah, I kind of like the ownership there in him. Smash the like button. All right, I'm going to call it a night. Again, I'll keep it up. I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter, but thanks again. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys.